You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. Okay, so what does this look like? Well, drive and ambition to me seem to be a critical component for success. So most successful people constantly strive to improve themselves and their skills and their circumstances. Person needs a lot of drive and a lot of ambition to keep working when life is hard or things are not going like you want them to or expected. People with no drive are bored with life and easily discouraged by obstacles. Because remember, obstacles are opportunities to most, unless you have no drive or desire. They give up easily because they see little point in life struggles. They may even try to destroy themselves by using drugs, alcohol, all that good stuff, or spending time watching TV, playing video games, and never accomplishing anything of value for them or the, the people in their lives. So while these may be extreme cases of zero drive and ambition, we all tend to lose motivation from time to time. I don't know about you, but I do. It's tough sometimes. So here's what I've done over the last 90 days to try these little trips that, you know, tips and tricks to help you regain your motivation, increase your drive. So number one for me was to cultivate another growth mindset. See people with a growth mindset believe that they can grow over time with effort and practice. On the other hand, people with a fixed mindset think they're stuck with their limitations and their situation and then they build an unwilling to grow or change through hard work and practice. You can cultivate a growth mindset by reading books and articles about successful people, watching a, a documentary or learning about how they overcame obstacles to become successful because there's something out there for everybody. And those people were no different than us. They get up, put their pants on the same way every day. You can also practice thinking positively about yourself, which we don't do enough of, even when you make mistakes or others criticize you. See, a growth mindset helps boost your motivation by reminding you that you can improve over time through effort and practice. See, avoid procrastination. That's number two. Procrastination is a major cause of low motivation and lack of success for almost everybody, or for most people. We all have certain tasks we put off because we dread doing them. I get it. But procrastination is self-destructive because it robs us of the opportunity to achieve our goals. So stop procrastinating. Write down the tasks that you want to complete and rank them from most important to least important. Because remember, when you make a list, You make a list based off of what comes to mind at the time, not the importance. And then tackle the highest priority task and complete it before moving on. Or until your high priority tasks are done for that day. If you have difficulty getting started on tasks, set a timer for 20 minutes and use that time to get started on the highest priority task on your list before you move on to another activity. When you feel productive throughout the day, you will feel more motivated and less stressed, I promise, especially when you start accomplishing those things. Number three, you wanna trick yourself into thinking you're motivated. Well, how do you do that? Well, motivation is feeling, right? It's a feeling. So it may seem counterintuitive to create art, you know, like artificial brain tricks like wearing an outfit that makes you feel confident or listening to motivational music before a big meeting at work, right? However, if you think of motivation as a feeling, you may be able to trick yourself into believing and behaving in that way that boosts your motivation and makes you feel more driven and productive. Next, think of 
counter arguments. My coach always tells me that for why you're struggling with motivation. Well, people who lack motivation tend to focus on why they can't do something instead of all the reasons they can succeed at that. So let me give you an example. Suppose someone feels unmotivated to exercise. Well, in that case, they may tell themselves that they have no energy after a workout to exercise or after work to exercise and shouldn't bother going to the gym because I'm tired. It's been a long day and they probably won't enjoy it anyway. Well, remember stuff that's important and hard isn't always enjoyable. This line of thinking is often con gonna convince you not to work out because they don't see any point in working out if they aren't enjoying themselves while they're doing it. It's not always fun. So instead, you can reframe the situation by thinking of why you should work out even though you aren't feeling motivated at the time. You love the way exercise makes you think and you've always seen positive results from working out in the past. So why should you push yourself to go to the gym? Well, having drive and ambition is important. It's very important for success in life, but most of us struggle to maintain a high level of these attributes. So by cultivating a growth mindset, avoiding procrastination, tricking yourself into being motivated and thinking about counter arguments for your lack of motivation can increase your productivity and start bringing your dreams and your, your ideal physical life and mental life to, to, to fruition. I challenge all of you to do it. It's super easy. Now, it's the hardest, easy thing you'll ever do because you have to get started. So do me a favor, make a list, fill your buckets, right? Have a bucket, must do, want to do, like to do, and fill those up and do them accordingly. Record your milestones. Super important. I hope you guys have a great week. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch. It's the holiday season. Time to be happy. Find somebody and say something nice to them today. Appreciate y'all. Talk to you soon. Hey, we'd like to take a moment and recognize some friends of the show. So time is a value commodity, right? So why waste time and waste it fumbling with your watch? Many Focus Watches, a friend of the show here, offer sleek and stylish timepieces that are both functional and fashionable. With features like durable stainless steel straps, precise quartz movement, and water resistant, many focus watches are perfect for any occasion. From a morning workout to a night out. Plus, with a variety of colors and designs to choose from, you are absolutely sure to find the perfect watch to match your style. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast. Please hit the subscribe and notification of new episodes button and visit us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok for bonus content.